Meat Boy is back and today we are making Swedish meatballs carnivore style. The original recipe for Swedish meatballs is actually just about carnivore. Both the meatball component and the sauce is fairly close. We do have to omit and substitute certain ingredients and this also depends largely on your dietary restrictions. You know, depending on whether you want to use certain spices, seasonings, small amounts of plant-based foods will be up to you. Let's take a look at the ingredients. For the meatballs, the carnivore ingredients are beef or pork, two pounds combined. Most recipes call for equal parts beef and pork. Today, I'm just using pork that I have from a local farm. Better omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, higher nutrient content. This is some raw heavy cream that I got from a local farm. Traditional recipe is half a cup of milk and one ounce of heavy cream. Since my pork is so wet, I'm just gonna add heavy cream to it instead of the milk and the heavy cream. Uh, this is one egg that is traditional in the recipe. Uh, you know, again, from a local farm, soy free, higher nutrient content. Uh, here we have some Parmesan cheese that is actually substituting uh, the breadcrumbs that you would normally put in the recipe. Uh, so this adds a lot of salt. We don't have to add salt to this. Uh, this has like a fermented umami flavor and it's trying to replicate some of that texture we get with the breadcrumbs. Uh, normally, you would add like fresh onion, fresh garlic diced up to the meatballs. If you'd like to do that, by all means, but that is not carnivore. Seasoning wise, this is up to you. Some carnivores do add spices. Uh, Grildika is a Swedish grilling spice. Uh, this is really similar to that. I found this at Whole Foods, $7, completely ridiculous. I felt the pain in my heart when I purchased this. Uh, you could also use allspice. Uh, this is basically just like paprika, garlic, black pepper, uh, chili pepper. Uh, you could look up just grilled Dika Swedish uh, seasoning and see if you have the ingredients at home. Uh, the meatballs are going to be sauteed in butter. We are also using butter for our sauce. Uh, so the sauce today is going to be beef broth, heavy cream, butter, and fish sauce. Normally you would add flour to the sauce to thicken it since flour is obviously not carnivore. We're going to reduce the sauce a little more add some more heavy cream to make it thicker. You know, sometimes you'll actually see like soy sauce, mustard, even parsley in these sauce recipes. So I'm going to use fish sauce. Uh, this is by no means traditional, but this is going to add more depth of flavor and I think it's gonna make this really, really tasty. Uh, some of you might know about colatura, which is the Italian fermented anchovy sauce, uh, similar to the ancient Roman seasoning garum. Keep in mind that the measurements for the meatballs can be consistent, but the sauce varies subjectively because, you know, I have some very thick, heavy cream here. You know, this broth is different than the broth you're using. Uh, one thing I will mention about the broth is this actually has fat in it, which is hard to find. Uh, if you guys are looking for a beef broth or a chicken broth or anything, the fat is where the flavor is. That is what you want. Uh, you know, this is an organic beef broth. It has fat in it. This is probably the best thing you're going to find taste-wise in any market. Again, for the meatballs, we have the two pounds of pork. I'm adding half a cup of Parmesan. We have the one egg. And I'm going to do about half a cup of heavy cream. And you guys can see how thick this is. And just a couple tablespoons of the grilling seasoning. Maybe like two. All right, we got everything nice and mixed up. Probably eat this raw if you wanted to. Tastes pretty good. You know, this is what I wasn't looking forward to because normally when I make meatballs for my family, I just make these giant meatballs so I don't have to roll out like 30 tiny meatballs. But no one likes big balls. You know, this smells so good, I just want to take a bite out of it now. Could have just done the raw carnivore version. We would have been done already. You could even spread this on some like sourdough bread. Oh man, that would be so good. Put it on some raw cheese, some slices of raw cheese. Ooh. You know, this is a great recipe if you want to, you know, feel like a vegan and spend half the day in the kitchen. But yeah, I think it's nice to do once in a while. So we got the pan on medium heat. I'm just adding some butter to it. I don't really want to add too much because the meatballs are so fatty. They're probably just going to render out. I'm going to even take this out of the pan. These are so moist. I'm going to try to be really delicate when I'm handling these in the pan. And uh, try not to crowd the balls too much. You know, this isn't like a New York City gym or anything. All right, never mind. We're going to go to Equinox. We'll crowd it up. While we are browning the meatballs, we want to reduce the stock. Frankie Boy is always prepared and ahead of time. 
So I already reduced four cups of beef broth down to about a cup and a half. Again, I used you know one container of organic imagined grass-fed beef broth. Uh, this is four cups. Put this in the pan, medium heat. You know, simmer down for about 35, 40 minutes uh, down to this nice reduced uh, heavier sauce. So we'll add the fish sauce now. Maybe about a tablespoon of fish sauce. Now we got to get these brown. As soon as these are brown, we could take the meatballs out, deglaze the pan with the reduced beef stock. Yeah, you know, if you like pink balls, you can eat this raw. If you like brown balls, you can eat this cooked. There you go. You can appeal to, uh, you can appeal to everyone. So these went for about four minutes on that side. I'm guessing it's gonna be, you know, maybe five to six minutes, and then we'll take them out. You don't have to get too crazy with this, but I do like to cook the meatballs on, on as many sides as possible. Now in the pan, we have that beautiful brown fond that is super flavorful. Not only that, you know, this fat that's rendered in the pan has picked up all of that caramelized meat flavor from the meatball. So we definitely don't want to get rid of this. This is really simple. Uh, we're just going to add the reduced beef broth into this. As you can see, there's this thick layer of oil on top of the sauce. You know, it's not emulsified at all. It's completely separated. We're going to add the cream. This is going to thicken this up a little bit as well as cool it down. But we're still not going to have the sauce emulsified. So this is where flour would make things a lot easier. What we could do, cool down the sauce a little bit, and then we'll add in cold butter. As we add in the cold butter and the cold butter melts, it should help emulsify the sauce together. The butter has to be added cold, and it has to melt slowly while you're whisking it. That's why I have this off the heat. I actually want to put this in the other pot to cool it off even more because the pan is still hot on the bottom. I was able to emulsify the sauce without breaking it, you know, but as you can see, this is not the easiest culinary technique. Uh, you're basically cooling down the sauce, slowly adding butter, and if the sauce gets too hot or the butter is not cold enough, the sauce is going to break and then the fat and the water is going to separate and you're not going to have, you know, a nice smooth sauce like this. What did make this more difficult is, you know, the large amount of fat that was in the, the pan from the rendering process. But uh, let's give this sauce a taste and see what we need. This is textbook Swedish meatball sauce. Very good. Uh, let's plate some up. Not bad for first attempt, right? So the sauce is pretty thick. You know, to get this sauce any thicker, you'd have to reduce the beef stock to a glaze and then just add the heavy cream to it. You know, without having flour or like a traditional thickener, very, very difficult to get a super thick sauce without using an incredibly large amount of beef stock. That looks great. The, the meat's nice and medium rare in the middle. This is slamming. This is pretty good. You know, nothing really stands out. It's like a nice balance of flavors. I'm gonna have my sister try this for you guys. <laughs> for those of you that haven't met my lovely sister Gina, she's been following the carnivore diet for what, like two years now? I think it's been three years. Three years, that's not, not quite that long, but just about that long. I thought it was too So cool. today I made some Swedish meatballs and I wanted you to try them. Oh, and God. for the past week or so, she's been having like regular meatballs with red sauce and she just really eats the red sauce. She doesn't like the this actual meat. His sauce is good. Oh, this don't kill. Wait, don't drop them. <laughs> Come on, get. It would make more sense if I just eat with a fork.
Mm-hmm. Meatball tastic. Have you had Swedish meatballs before, Gina? No, not as good as this. How but do they compare to the other meatballs? These are more fresh and tasty. That one tastes like dry hockey pucks. I would, okay, well. Please order from Frankie's Free. Yeah. No, just shorten it. <laughs> so, for those of you guys that don't know, on Frankie's Free Range Meat, we do offer high quality, nutrient dense animal foods mm -hmm. at an affordable price. Uh, we don't exactly have ground pork at this point in time, but you can definitely try this recipe with our ground beef. It's uh, tastic. If you guys could please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Of course, above all guys, please do share the video. As I just said, definitely check out frankiesrearrangemeat.com. You can also check out Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredient, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Thanks again for joining me guys. And, and, and enjoy you know, the rest of your day. One more thing. Just yeah. so you know, everyone, the, all of this is all natural. No makeup. Well, I guess we're gonna have to break out a towel for that one. And I'm not wearing makeup either. Don't you know, give me one of those things. I just so there, there probably aren't too many vegan fairy boys watching this video because most of them just watch the vegan videos. Uh, but but out of all, all of them, you're the handsomest one, Frank. Out of all of what? All of the guys. In general, right? In general. Yeah, in general. You are pretty good looking. So, as you know, we could tell you guys we look alike. He's the hotter version of me. Well, I wouldn't say that. You just need to get a little sun. Just say I'm... Oh, come on. We both... Come on. You're like a Greek god compared to me. I wouldn't say that, Gina. <laughs> but, uh, thank you for joining us. <laughs> and, uh, maybe we'll, we'll let, let us know if, what, what videos you guys want to see in the future with Gina. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you guys haven't seen I'm it... I'm game to anything. If you guys haven't seen... Nothing weird. The, uh, you know, she, we did a day of eating with her. I'll link that at the end here. Uh, we also did a couple of other videos, you know, showing her diet, talking about our diet, uh, talking about her weight loss journey on the carnivore diet. So definitely check those out too, guys. And please buy his hair care products. Buy them now.